I do want to confess something to all of you. Uh, you might take it the wrong way, but hear me out until the end. Uh, my name is Ash Mufar, and I'm your friend. And I did fail to estimate what we will have uh, by now as of today. I had no idea how big is the gap between what I thought possible and what is realistically achievable. And I did have a plan and I had you in my plan and I had you in my um, dream to kind of uh, empower you and grow with you and, and together we uh, uh, you know, succeed and we win. And I failed in the scale of potential that we could achieve by now. And I'm not pranking you. The truth is I had no realistic idea how far we would be at this moment of our journey. It's far, 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 far bigger than I thought. And it's a good thing if you're patient. Uh, I did not imagine with things are connected together now at all levels and I'm seeing it myself. This is not what I envisioned. It's a million times bigger. It's a million times bigger and it's, it's unstoppable. What you're just about to discover and realize in these coming short days will probably get you up to speed to where I am now. The way I feel, we, we're done. And it's based on practicality and reality, not a just wishful fantasy. Did I think we're going to be a million, one million in the short period of pre-launch and beta testing? Never, 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 never. Did I think it will be this quality of founders? Didn't even have a clue. Well, let's do some math. Google 130 something, nine, seven, thousand employees after 22 23 years in business the relationship is employee you exchange your time for money i'll give you a salary you are basically slaved to google at two three years contract you go home you don't pick up anything not even a mug we have a million partners true partners not employees they would operate as this is their own business this is their google not they're just going to exchange time for money and go empty-handed after two three years no we own this together as founders one million no company at amazon like with the truckers, with, with all of that, but we have one million partners. And we didn't even roll up our sleeves yet. We're just warming up, just about to do that. Apple has five similar amount of employees, 140 something, okay? They have 512 stores as of today. Apple, Apple company, beautiful, one of the most successful, you know, business or businesses on the planet, 512, we're going to have 1000 locations just for the global leaders alone.
Google has like 150 or something locations. That would be our first year. We're big, we're born big. It, it turns out to be, well, let it, or put it this way, it's not what we thought. It turned out to be a lot bigger and I didn't really think that far. I knew I'm gonna do my best. I knew I'm gonna give something disruptive. I knew I'm not gonna do something typical. I knew that, but the level of effectiveness, didn't expect that. So, as of now, as of today, where we are in a passive, I believe it's uh, something to be proud of. And uh, it's indeed remarkable, historical in every way. Uh, there's no, there's no limit. There's no box. There's no frame for us. We're just, we're blowing up everything around us and we are unstoppable. Good only. Uh, I have never up until this moment been so confident and so excited and proud as of today's level. Excitement is mounting. I know what I know, and you will know it. I'm not going to be able to keep that away from you long, but of course, we want to be mindful and respectful to all of our founders and, and share that with them uh, in a proper manner. Uh, and uh, it's a reality. So, hardship, Julie, is temporary. And I'm thankful, I'm so fortunate that I have, you know, or I had my fair share of that. If I didn't taste uh, that hardship at all capacities or poverty, if you wish, I would not even know what it means. And that's, you know, the drive in me to, uh, to share it with those who are in need. The deserving. Uh, I don't think uh, where we are today is permanent. So if any of you unhappy or, or uncomfortable where you are, it is going to pass. It is going to pass. I took my fair share with this illness uh, just roughly a month and a half, two months ago. I didn't think of anything. I just knew I am here, prayers are working, just just let it be. Do you know how priceless is that, how precious it is? When you know uh, you're protected, somebody's looking out for you. And don't argue or overanalyze the little details. If I did that, I probably could have restrained our success or growth up, up, up until this level, because I would be stuck with, okay, well, this is what I thought, I'm gonna stay with, no. I thought, well, the power of you, the power of the entire energy of, of our creator, it, it came together is like, you passed the test, we're gonna give you more. I didn't ask for this much. So we're overwhelmed by the reward. Uh, understand it can turn around very quickly. So the true character is revealed in tough times. Tough times don't make the character. It's, a, it's there, but it shows the true you. I believe we are made of gold as a passive founders. We're patient, we're um, uh, uh, determined, we have a clean 
intention so we're getting all the support we need. We can't ask for more. It's beyond perfection. So let's enjoy and, and have a good uh, gratitude for what we uh, accomplished. Remember where you are today is not permanent and we can change it and we have a decision and we have control over that. Your past doesn't dictate your future. It doesn't have to. We can reinvent our future. We got the resources, we got the knowledge, we got the heart. That's all it takes. And I just want to be clear, one of the notes I, I have uh, that you got it is when it comes to wealth, the real wealth, I don't know if I can give credit to my dad, but I, at least I would do, the real wealth and what counts is what you give. As is proven clinically in our uh, uh, DNA that the power and the reward that we get from giving and gifting is 10 times more rewarding. In other words, if I give that one million away, it's, it feels like 10 million. If I selfishly spend the one million on me, probably wouldn't enjoy it. Probably it's like less valuable than a, than a tenth of that. If we use the same ratio, maybe like a hundred thousand. Why would it bother me for all of my good friends and founders to have the same car I have, the same lifestyle I have? the same you know, house, the same health and diet, so why not? What's wrong of being generous? It doesn't take away from your wealth. Can I say something? We don't create wealth and I want somebody to write it down and put my name on it. We don't create wealth. Wealth is already there. We acquire wealth. So it's literally there, it's who wanna grab it. We don't create wealth, it's a misconception. Okay, if, if you allow me, I'm a believer, I don't think I'm gonna offend you if you don't believe, but if you allow me, the creator of the planets, the whole galaxy, moons and stars and suns and oceans and you name it is not in any way short or unable of providing to all of us our food our housing he created human beings and, and beings in general he can give you a loaf of bread, so don't worry about that. Okay? And I don't own it. You don't own it. We're passing by. It's a station. Nobody's permanent here. So we want to do our best and share that wealth with love. It would be more, in it would be more enjoyable. We're going to have a better social life, better life lifespan. Our life on a purpose would be more meaningful and we will leave a legacy and impact. It's a win, 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 all the way you can. It's just a different way. I don't have to follow the traditional way of like, okay, piling that wealth and okay. Another name on the list. Good job. Doesn't impress me. What you do with it. What you do with it. Okay?
What do you give is what's going to count. And we're not inventing or creating wealth. Keep that in mind. It's already there. We're just going to work together with a good heart, smartly work hard, and we will make sure everybody gets a piece. I just want to remind you where we are in our passive. Uh, it's already historical. It will not happen again in our lifetime. It's unique. It only happens with our passive. And I think uh, what we've accomplished and what we're about to reveal. So I'm not saying what we're about to do. Watch my term. What we're about to reveal. So it's already accomplished, achieved. It's only making it, you know, public and 